push-pull complementary versus single-ended output. All right, Paul in Dublin, Ireland writes to me, Hi, Paul. Greetings from your namesake in Dublin, Ireland. What is the difference between push-pull versus single-ended in amplifier design, and how do they sound? Keep up the good work. Thanks. Well, um, let's see if we can... I'm going to keep this a little simple. We're going to talk about complementary output, which is kind of push-pull, versus single-ended output. And, and we'll try and, uh, try and simplify it down like that. Okay. So a, let's talk about a single-ended output, what people mean by a single-ended uh, output first. So a, a single-ended output is a single device. So let's call it a transistor. Could be anything. All right. And this is plus and this is minus. This is the input. So we have this signal coming in here. This is the base. This is the emitter. And this is the collector. So this is, this is on, on, a, on an NPN transistor. This transistor, uh, is the current is going through here. Uh, and this is like a valve. This is, this is our valve. And when we put a little bit of, of a positive go juice here, then current starts to flow and we get the same thing out here, but we have this big power supply up here, right? And so even a, you know, a, a reasonable signal here is going to put out a lot more power over here. And in this single-ended thing, we probably don't have just one. We probably have you know, multiple uh, transistors, uh, and they're all in parallel, you know, like this sort of thing. Um, and then and you can parallel, because, you know, each device can handle so much current, right? So in this scenario, this is a single-ended, and, and so the, the voltage is going up and down between this rail. This single transistor is handling all the current. It is the valve, okay? So, this is not used very often in power amplifiers. Nelson Pass made some that were called the LF, uh, LF series, and it was it ran hotter than a firecracker. I think a German magazine at one point fried an egg on top of Nelson's amplifier. Very very hot because the um, you're, you're, this is a fairly high voltage to get a, a power amp out of here. So this single-ended design is very inefficient because we're generating heat anywhere where we're not close to the rails. Uh, we're generating a lot of heat, and um, not you know. And and how does it sound? This sounds wonderful. This is a delightful uh, sounding thing. You only have one sex of transistor, uh, which is great. You, um, I mean, this is, we use this kind of circuit called an emitter follower for a lot of our preamps and, and, and stuff, okay? And this is a great, great, sweet, linear, beautiful sounding circuit. It's just very inefficient and not great for a power amp output. Okay, so what's the other way? Well, the standard way of doing it is called a complementary output. And here we have our transistor. That's our same, same transistor, same thing, right? But resistor, resistor, now we're going to do something else. We're going to come down like this, and so this is now a PNP transistor. And we've got a little biasing network in here, and this goes down there, and this goes up here, and uh, you know we're going to go in like that. Now, the output <laughs> comes out there. All right, so this is push-pull complementary sort of circuit, okay? There, there is a whole other definition for push-pull, but I'm not going to go into that because it's not really important right now. Uh, what's important is <clears throat> the difference between this kind of circuit and the other. So what happens here is th this is, here's negative and here's positive, and this is going to our, our speaker. So this positive going transistor, an NPN, um, is handling basically this part of the wave. Okay, so it's drawing current here, and then I'm going to exaggerate. When we cross over down to, towards negative, then 
it kind of looks like that, and that's your sine wave. So this transistor handles the top half, and then it switches over, and this transistor handles the bottom half. You see this little notch here? Okay, that's crossover notch. That's pretty severe crossover notch. So what do we do about that? Well, because this is where this top transistor turns off, and this is where the bottom transistor turns on. So you've heard about class A biasing or class AB. Okay, well this, what I've described here is a class B amplifier. On, off, on, off, like that. So what we do in this little network here, we turn this transistor on a little bit, and we turn this transistor on a little bit. So they're both constantly on. What that does is it eliminates that notch. And the amount of onness that we do is called biasing, class A biasing. Class AB uh, is a slight amount of class A bias, enough to get rid of this notch to make it smooth. Class A biasing is when these suckers are on all the time, but we, we won't get into all of that. So this is more of a, your complementary push-pull. Now this is much more efficient because instead of trying to run everything through one device, we've got multiple devices that now can share the load that turn off and, and this one turns on. And anyway, we won't go crazy with all that. But that is basically um, your complementary output. This is more standard. And oh, there's all kinds of stuff. Like this uh, transistor uh, sounds better than that transistor. PNPs are not great copies, uh, they're, they're not great complements of, a, of an uh, uh, NPN or N channel. This could be a FET, it could, you know, whatever. So like in the BHK design, um, they're, they're FETs. We won't bother you with what that means. But um, it's more of a classic push-pull in that um, we have another transistor uh, down, oops. Let's see if I can remember how we did that. Um, do, 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 do. I think it's like this. Is that right? Something like that. Um, I don't remember exactly how it works, but it's the same sex transistor. And, and it pushes and pulls more, uh, and, and, and you get better sound because of that. I have to... I, I, I'm old, my memory ain't all that great, but it's something like that. that that's more of a push-pull um, design, and it's how you drive this thing. You, it, this one pulls down, th this one pushes, and this one pulls down. But, um, and this is more of a classic push-pull, which is in the BHK, and we do it because we have the same sex devices, and that sounds better, as opposed to full complementary, which uh, has uh, the, the NPN, like that. Okay, so anyway, that, that's the difference between them. So hope that helps. Uh, thanks, for, um, thanks for the question. My brother out there in, in Dublin, Ireland, where I've been, we went to the McGowan Pub. There's a McGowan Pub in Dublin, Ireland. Look it up. All right, take it easy. Bye.